Hey everybody, Confound It here, and we are getting started on how to make an intro. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm so damn excited I don't know what to do with myself. Anyhow, um, before we get started in Pixlr, I want to show you exactly how Showbiz handles text natively from itself. So um, what I did was I clicked, it on, clicked on the text tab, and I'm just going to uh, drag and drop this down here to our timeline. And I'm going to click here, and I'm going to enter some text. That text is going to be Confound It. And then from there, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to switch our font to something else that I like, which is Roland. I'm going to move that over here. Don't really like, there we go, that's okay. But um, it's not great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it again. I'm going to change the font color to red. It won't show me what it looks like until so we'll do that. It comes out a little pink, but that's okay too. You can change the size of it by uh, clicking on the font button up there. You can left align, center align. Can't tell it's center align because there's nothing else there. So let me just say has the best. And I believe it's frozen up on me. That's fun. subscribers all right now I'm going to come up here and get the four-way and drag that back to the center and you can also left align it right align you can make it bold italics I've already shown you changing the color and that's how you do that now you can make it as long or as short as you want to you can move it anywhere on the timeline that you want to but it's a, a on and off proposition. What I mean by that is it's either on or it's off. There's no in between with it. So, also, you can't put any effects on it. If I were to drop that, it'd go onto the video itself. It, you just can't. You can't get it on there. See, it went onto the video. We definitely don't want that. Um, you can't add fades or any other kind of transitions to it. So that's where Pixlr is going to come in by. Um, bringing in images images are treated more like video so we'll be able to um, afford a little more leeway with it so let's go ahead and go over to Pixlr and get that done so we're going to create a new image and the image you need to create will need to correspond with your video size and mine is 1080p 1920 by 1080 and it's going to be on a transparent background and I'm going to title this intro and there we have it. I'm going to pull my palettes over here so it's not cut off on your screen. Let me take my navigator and pull that down just a little bit. Alright, so now from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And um, <clears throat> I've already been through this a couple of times. What, I, what you'll need to do and what you're going to want to do and as you do this more often you're going to, uh, you know, want to come in here and uh, test things out and do what you like to do um, you'll figure out all kinds of stuff I'll show you a couple of little filters and everything else as we go along with uh, this one and in future montage creations but um what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drag out a gradient and if you see this line see that line that's out there you want to make sure that that's not jagged at all you want it to be just as straight as possible because if it's jagged you're going to get a weird transition in the transition from your gradient that looks pretty straight to me so I'm just gonna, well I accidentally right clicked and everything went a little crazy on me so I've got my gradient there and um you know it's still it's it's a gradient now but it, it's still very plain you know, I see a little banding in it but I'll get to the banding in a minute um, so what I want to do now is I want to come up here to the filters and I am going to do a little water, water swirl and I want it to be horizontal so it gives it kind of um, not really a curtain kind of look but you know more of a little wavy just adds a little dimension to it alright that looks pretty good there click OK but see I don't like these uh, ridges up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control T and uh, that's the transform 
and I'm just going to drag those ridges right off there. Look at that. It's amazing stuff. I'll tell you what. And I do want to apply those changes. And um, you can also get to those from the edit menu. You got free transform, free distort, all kinds of good stuff up here in your menus if you can't remember the shortcuts or anything else. Um, anyhow, I have the water swirl on there and that's given that it's that little bit of dimension. You might not be able to see it on your monitor or not, but it's created these little ridges of banding and what the banding is is where the transition in the gradient isn't quite meshing. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to add a little bit of noise to it. And even that slowed up on me. Here we go. Noise, that's what I'm looking for. That's a little bit too noisy. I'm going to bring it down to 5. And yep, that got rid of the noise. And uh, it's up to you if you want it to be monochromatic or not. What monochromatic is, is it um, doesn't introduce any new aberrant colors to it. So I usually use monochromatic unless I'm doing something different. So we've got that. Now, what I want to do is create a new layer new layer and then over here I'm going to grab my text tool I'm going to click right here it's already set to Roland set the style the style's fine, color's fine and in the text I'm just going to type out Puffins Puffins is the guy that I'm doing the montage that we're going to be making together for and I'm going to click OK I'm going to go ahead and center that up as best as I can. That looks okay there. Now, you can't, um, that's the highest font size there is, so what I need to do is a little bit of trickery. I'm going to uh, right click on the layer, and I'm going to rasterize the layer. Then I'm going to press Ctrl T for our transform tool, hold down Shift, and drag out so it keeps everything nice and square. And then I'm going to hit enter to accept it. And then from there, I am going to take our marquee tool, make sure it's on the circular marquee. I'm going to feather it out just a little bit. And what the feather does is it creates, instead of a hard edge selection, it's going to feather that selection out five pixels. Uh, I'm not real sure if Pixlr goes two and a half in and two and a half out like Photoshop does, or if it just goes five out. Um, we'll find out though. So now I'm just going to draw a selection around this right here, which is the dot and the eye, and I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to cut it. Get on out of here. So now I'm going to create another new layer. I'm going to go to edit and paste, and I could have used the uh, shortcut keys, and I just used V to get back to my move tool, and what I'm going to do now I'm going to move this dot right back in place. I know it seems a little counterintuitive, like why did he take the dot out? But there's method to my mad madness. Um, what we're doing is we're creating a little, you know, appearance for it. You know, it's Puffins. He likes to smoke cigars. So I thought, hey, you know, why don't we um, make a little whiff of smoke? So I've got uh, that. I just blurred it out just a little bit. I meant to use the Gaussian blur. Blur. There we go. Ten pixels. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up here to our water swirl. And for some reason it's not wanting to cooperate with me. Okay, well, I know you've heard the saying more than one way to skin a cat. So what we're going to do is go grab our brush tool. Size is 200. And it's a soft tip brush. See the little uh, feathering on it right there? Color is white. I'm just going to come right up here and I'm going to dot that eye. Then I'm going to go back to filter. Water swirl. You can see it's starting to work out for me a little bit there. What I want to do is create like a little whiff of smoke. And it's, um, until you get used to it, it's going to be a little bit of trial and error to get exactly what you want, but if you use a little bit of creativity, you'll be able to get there and in no time at all you're going to be making uh, awesome creations that I can't wait to see. You know, Feel free at any time to share with me anything that you've made. 
by using any of the um, tutorials that I'm, I've given you. Alright, so we've got a little cloud of smoke there and I am going to apply those changes. But now what I need to do is clean it up a little bit. See those hard edges where you can see that something's happened there? I want to get rid of those. So I pressed E and I got my erase tool, eraser tool. I'm just going to click right there and right here to get rid of that. So now we've got a little whiff of cloud right there. And I see another spot I gotta get rid of right there. So I'm gonna go back to E. And there we go. Now the um, puffins right here looks a little bit jagged and that's from going from a vector based text layer to a raster based image layer. So um, you know we can come through here and just click with our eraser tool and where we think it's really um, beat up but it's going to be a little bit difficult work. I think we're just going to have to deal with it quite honestly. So um, what I am going to do though is give it a little bit of styling. Remember how the uh, showbiz wouldn't let us wouldn't let us style uh, the way that the way that we wanted to. Now, it, Pixlr is a little bit limited in the um, effects that you get, but you know, as we go through these tutorials and everything else, and I show all kinds of other little uh, tips and tricks, you'll pick up a lot of stuff. But we're just going to stick with the basics here. We'll add a little drop shadow to it. I'm going to click on that. That way, I can, um, you know, adjust this to negative 90 so it's straight up and down. Give it a little bit more distance. And the size actually dictates the blur on it. So there we've got that. And then let's go up here to our uh, whiff of smoke. And let's put a layer effect on that, actually two of them. The inner glow is a bit strong. The outer glow. Inner glow just a yellow. Right there. Back it off a little bit. A little bit bigger or the opacity to it. Now with our outer glow, get it back up to white. And it's the subtle differences that are really going to pull your images together. So there's that. Now we're running up on 12 minutes 45 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and um, save these images off. My computer, make that 100 and I'm going to save it in two different ways. I save that as intro and then I'm going to get rid of this and this and I'm just going to save the blank background as well. Give us a little bit um, of flexibility for transitions and everything else. So, an intro background, replace it. And there we are. So thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and part two will be coming up pretty soon.